What's going on YouTube? This is Tyrone Trinity, and today I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of my toolbox. So here we go. <laughs> to represent all the people that gave me all their stickers and their decals so on the top drawer is not much but my three quarters inch and my half inch which I don't really use half inch gear wrench uh, half inch drive um, 12 point and green pneumatics, quarter inch, which I don't really use, fuel line sockets, and all the ratchets that I barely use. I, if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys probably seen this already. All my ratchets, uh, Beats headphone, when I want to be listening to audiobook while working, and then my wrench drawer. So most of this are expert, uh, Tecton, Stubbies, my big wrenches are Tecton. I got this fee from work. We uh, work every time you finish a class, you get like certain points that you can up use those points for uh, tools, gear wrench, uh, ratcheting wrench, expert ratcheting wrench. You guys know about the edit wrenches. Uh, Capri Slim Style Wrench, also Slim Style Wrench, and this is the Mountain, which I don't remember use at all since I got it. And if you can know, my best video on my my channel is the Tech Team Crowfoot uh, review or showcase. Let's go to the next video. This is pretty much whatever. Um, gear wrench, Torx uh, set, which I never really use. Torx and hex set. They're laser tools. I just use the 14, not really, you know, taking out the box just to use one tool. So just kept it there. Um, this one right here, I haven't used it yet, but just kept it here. And my bolton hammer, uh, mallet, bowl for measuring the slack adjusters, stroke, power pro, may you punch and chisel set. Uh, this right here is the money maker. This uh, gear wrench sensor socket set kit, micrometer, and the tribus tools. Uh, O2 knock sensor wrench, RBRT bits, torque wrenches, half inch drive, 3 8 drive, and this one, my last tool haul, Ingelson Rand, and this is probably the only air, um, air tool I have in this toolbox. And yeah, it is the only one. <clears throat> and the B spec. This is my favorite uh, bit, impact bit. And next one is gonna be my accessory, accessory drawer. It's just quick connects, uh, toothpicks, and paperwork, the little thingies for the Mantis tool grid or Macco grid tool trim. This is really handy for Mac tools. Safety glasses, uh, dime grinder, dime grinder accessories, and picks and Macco bills. Um, caging tools, caging socket, engine caging bolt. This one is gonna be just whatever right here just I don't really use this uh, actually it's one of those things I regret buying honestly because I don't really never use it um, 
got this snap-on craftsman snap-on snap-on they all three-eighths right here from here to here is three-eighths and it's half inch uh, I don't really use a quarter inch so. and my bit drivers and then quarter inch this is actually my favorite one because it has a hex I mean a quarter inch bit driver and a, a hex driver bit driver and then Capri tools 75 degree offset and then my Capri blowgun I don't really use it that much I haven't used it so far I only got it like for three days and this is my K tool wrench folder wrench extension kit which I don't ever use I use the Mueller cups instead it's just my nut driver screwdriver drawer pie bar snap-on pie bar do not buy this this thing sucks uh, Macco screwdriver Tecton nut driver that's about it for that I got the flyer set Nipex um, snap ring pliers this is for brake um, brake lines Matco uh, this is the Matco pinch out flyer which is my favorite one gear wrench slip, point, slip joints you guys already know she this uh, Nipex this is the little brother for that and this is the big bout uh, radio picks do not buy this right here they suck do not buy this one right here they suck so stick with the carbide scraper from Matco let's go to the power drawer it's my lights batteries uh, Milwaukee die grinder junk drawer so I hide in this uh, shop you have to hide your stuff or else I will take it um, this is probably the money drawer like I have a endoscope bore scope uh, Milwaukee drill impacts three quarters inch hit half inch uh, snap on long neck and this thing is a waste of money because i never really use it i haven't used it at all and the thing the beautiful venom hp which i used it once on the ser job which is pretty cool no code gb70 and this is right here is my electric set which has my power probe and stuff i try to open it on here there, Capri, um, the Macro test light, Macro uh, multimeter, Macro test light, and there's a power probe here somewhere. I'll open it up all the way. Head this. speaker tumble towels and hand sanitizer my charging kit or wireless charging kit which is this thing right here also works sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's kind of odd but it has to be in a certain position to work uh, well I guess it's not working today but that usually works. For some reason it doesn't work. Uh, Auto stream light, the best light ever, right here. On the sides is face shield, my Matco, a stool, backpack, the tool creeper, right here. And that's about it, guys. Alright, so my initial impression on my toolbox is that it's a great toolbox for a starting tech like me 
and that it's one of those toolbox that uh, it w do the job and more, but it's not as expensive as like the KRLs and the Epic, but the toolbox is really heavy right now because of the extra tools I have. Um, I usually work from my tool cart, but because my tool cart can't even hold a torque wrench, my like my half inch torque wrench, even my three eighths torque wrench, um, I need them a lot because of a lot of PDI I've been doing lately. Um, I had to carry, I had to push or pull my tool cart or toolbox. And what I really like about the toolbox is that even though it's really heavy, it's the ease of rolling it around the shop is no problem at all. And I think that it's one of those toolbox that you can retire from if you don't need to upgrade or buy any more tools. Um, like I can buy the side cab and the locker with, and I think I'll be good with it and another, with a tool cart on the side and right now I'm thinking about buying a hutch and on my anniversary I will buy a locker because all those blow molded cases are filling up my toolbox like crazy uh, my pliers drawer as you can see it's uh, like overfilled already because of my picks and my plan is to upgrade my tool cart to kind of remove all the screwdriver and the pry bars because I do have pry bars in my tool cart but every time I need a bigger pry bar I need to go to my toolbox um and one thing to know for newer techs is that uh, be careful on buying gimmicky tools um, I know these guys will heart me for it but grip T or grip mat is one of those tools that you don't really need um, if you're in a diesel heavy heavy equipment industry for automotive guys uh, probably because you guys work on interior and exterior of the car and the customers you need to protect their um, their valuables or the interior the seats uh, the fenders yes you can you, you can buy those things but do you really need it no maybe it helps sometimes but a side cart is much better than that and side cart can is costing like 150 the grip mat is about a hundred with the set so just be careful and I want to make a video for the things that you need in a diesel industry that like okay there's a basic tools but there's other tools that you don't know it's really underrated it's not talked about by other diesel mechanics uh, youtubers and no disrespect to them it's just that it should be talked about because it's what if I knew this and in coming into the industry like you know uh, it, it would really improve my efficiency my efficiency is at 85% right now at the shop and that's really good actually as you know apprentice uh, coming in in six months not knowing anything about the trucks I know basic things about the trucks but the actual Freightliner and Isuzu trucks is a uh, kind of a new thing for me but like my NCO said don't be afraid to do newer things and making mistakes is a part of being a mechanic and knock him out don't worry about making mistakes um, I'm kind of babbling right now but thank you guys for watching and if you guys want one of my stickers and check out my Instagram I will gladly send you one as long as you give me a shout out on your YouTube or your Instagram that's about it remember that knowledge is a tool use it wisely bam bye and subscribe